Hello and welcome back to another video. So this is part 18 and we're going to carry on with the design. We're going to add in the sidebar. So this section here and then we're going to then add in the main content area right next to it. Um, so let's crack on with it. So if we go over to Visual Web Developer and we want to be adding in this code um, in the default page inside of this uh, main content bottom holder so if we go to the source so we want to be adding it just after this where it says content placeholder ID so this is referencing the main content bottom holder um, so if we add a couple of line breaks so in here we're going to create a div with an ID and this ID is going to be side bar I can't spell today side bar and then we're going to close that off as usual and we're going to add our comment so we're going to say sidebar and then we're going to copy this for a bit of speed and we're going to paste it below and then we're going to call this one main content area and then we'll just copy this and paste it on the comment so we've now got two divs inside of that so if we come here you can now see um, here here's the sidebar div and if I click on the one below that's the main content area div so we now need to style these to create the structure that we have in our design so we need to go to the style sheet so I've just noticed something we've got this login di uh, div here that we're not going to be using anymore so we can just get rid of that and just save the style sheet if we go back to the master page uh, and if we come down uh, underneath the featured image, there's a div and ID of login. Again, we're not going to be using that. We're going to change it up slightly. So I'm going to save that as well. And if you we just go to the design view, you can see nothing really changes. Um, so we're now going to add in the other side of it all now. So like I said, if we come back over here and underneath featured image, we're going to add in sidebar. and we're going to say the width of the sidebar is going to be 30% this time so we've got 100% to play with, we're going to say this is 30% inside of that area uh, the height is going to be auto and then save that and if we just come down the page slightly and then here we'll create a ma main content area and we're going to say the width for this is going to be 70% and the height is going to be auto and I keep forgetting to close off these for some reason, there we go so we've added those in, if we go back to the default page you can now see that the sidebar div here is only coming to here which is 30% of the space available and then you can see this one here is the main content area is doing 70% but we need to float them to get them to line up next to each other so back to the style sheet so on the sidebar I'm going to say float to the left and then I'm going to say float to the right for the main content area if you now go back to the default page you can now see the perfectly um, right next to each other because we've floated them one to the left and one to the right so like I said this is 30% of the width available and this is 70% uh, so we've now got the layout so if we just go back to the Photoshop design so we've now got this sidebar and this main content area we just need to populate it with the, it, the, with the information now so this products here and this Laurel Ipsum headings they're going to be uh, probably a H2 so we can create that now first of all we need to find out the colour so I'm going to come down, come up here to the colour picker I'm just going to zoom in a little I'm just going to click on the L of the lorem and then that gives me the colour down here in the colour picker so that colour is here so I'm just going to copy this out because I'm never going to remember that and so click OK and if we go back to Visual Web Developer and we need to go to the style sheet so I like to keep my heading uh, information up at the top so just about here I'm going to say any H2 on the page I want you to be a certain colour so colour 
put the hashtag or pound sign, whatever you want to call it, and then I'm just going to paste in that color and close it off. Um, we need to find out actually the font of the um, heading. I'm guessing it's probably Vedana, so I'm going to select that, and it's Vedana, and it's 22 pixels. So like I said, if I select it, it tells you Vedana up here, and it tells you the pixels here. So if I go back to Visual Web Developer, so I'm going to say here on the H2, font family, and we're going to say Vedana, I don't know, Arial, uh, Serif, like that. So we've now got a font family, um, and the final thing is going to be font size, and we'll just say 24 pixels. Again, we can change all this later. So we're just saying any H2 on the page, every site, every H2 on the page uh, will have this styling. Now, if we need to change that later on, we can get a bit more specific and we can change those up. So, if we go back to the default page, nothing's changed because there's no H2s on the page. If we go to the source, and we're going to come into the sidebar here, and we're going to crack open a H2, and I'm just going to put in products for now, like that. Save that, and if we go back to the design, you can now see here's our H2, which has got the colour. So if you just click on the green play button here to start debugging, that will then open it up. So as you can see here, here's our products H2, which has got the nice blue colour, it's in Vedana, and it's 24 pixels. So, if we just minimise this, and if we just do stop debugging, make sure you keep the, the browser window open. I'm going to close that. I'm now going to go into the source over here. Just create a bit of space so we can read our code a little nicer. And I'm just going to go back over to Photoshop. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the text tool by pressing T on the keyboard. I'm going to select Lorem Ipsum. And I'm just going to do right click and copy. And then click on this icon here which takes you out of the text tool. And then go back to uh, Visual Web Developer and I'm going to crack open another H2 and just paste that in and hit save. Now if we bring back the browser we minimized and if we hit refresh so you can now see we've now got the other H2 styled exactly the same way so if you want to make a change we just make that one change and it will, it will apply to both of them. So again if we just go back over to Photoshop let's see what other things we can grab out. So again this sort of text here and all these different paragraphs are all you're going to use the P tag. So again we can just use the uh, the P tag and we can change all of that in one go. So while we're here we may as well grab it out. So I'm going to grab press the T on the keyboard for the text tool again and I'm going to grab the text there and I'm just going to copy that straight out. Again I'm going to click on this icon up here to take me out of the text tool. Back into Visual Web Developer and underneath the products we're going to open up a p tag and we're just going to paste that straight in so if we go to the design you can now see here's the text um, and what I'm probably going to do as well if we go back to Photoshop I'm just going to zoom in no nope, that's the wrong way <laughs> zoom in and grab the eyedropper tool and just click on one of the letters so I've clicked on the M here, it gives me the colour. So this is the colour. So again, I'm going to copy and paste that straight out. And go back over to Visual Web Developer. That's quite hard to say after a while. Um, right, so yeah, so if we come up into the style sheet, again, I like to keep the P tag up at the top as well. So we're just going to say any paragraph on the page is going to have a colour. And this colour is going to be the one we just copied and paste, copied from Photoshop. And I'm going to guess that the uh, the font family is going to be uh, Vedana again. So I'm just going to paste that in from the top. And I'm going to say for the font, I would say about 14 pixels for now. Uh, and if you go back to the default page, you can now see that that's changed straight away. So I'm going to bring back my uh, window browser and I'm going to hit refresh and you can see how nice that's looking already uh, what I will probably do is the text is a bit close to the heading here so I'm going to kick that away so if we go to visual web developer 
and we're going to say on the H2 have some margin bottom which will then kick anything below it away so for example it's going to kick the paragraph tag away so back to the style sheet I'm just going to say margin bottom and I'm just going to say 10 pixels save that bring back the browser hit refresh and you can see it's now kicked it away and one more thing before I go we're going to add uh, some line height to the paragraph uh, tag because it's a bit too close at the moment so back into the style sheet and on the paragraph tag here we're going to say line I really can't spell today height and we'll say 20 pixels and we'll see what that looks like if we just bring back the web page I think that was a little nice and we've got that little bit of extra spacing uh, which now brings it which makes it a bit easier to read really um, in fact what we'll do we'll add in some paragraph text over here as well so if we go back to Photoshop and if we just zoom out a little I'm holding the space bar down and the cursor change, changes to a hand and then if you click in with your mouse and drag you can actually move around the window um, so again I'm going to zoom out a tiny bit more and hit the T for the uh, text tool and I'm going to select this top paragraph and copy that back over to the uh, default page because we've already set up the styling for the paragraph tag when I paste it in here it's going to be exactly the same so if we go to the source and we want to add it underneath here for the main content area under the H2 we're going to say P paste that in what I'll do just so it's a bit easier to read is just bring it down a line and bring it down another line save that bring back our web page hit refresh so as you can see we've got a slight issue where the text is too close to each other but what we'll do we'll sort that out in the next episode uh, so as usual guys thanks for watching please leave me comments below feel free to subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video